presenting to you the starting field for the 14th edition of the Miller Lite Cleveland Classic. This is the first division. All by Jacob Ramsburg of Maryland and Barry Waiter of Pennsylvania has a lifetime earnings of $213,000 plus. A mark of 152. Trained by Dan Altmeyer, driven by Brett Miller. Number one is mega success. All by Pius Sunland of Canton and David Sunland of Navarro, Ohio. Has a mark of 152 and three. Has banked over 121,000 thus far. Trained by Pius Sandlin, driven by George Sandlin. Number two is pre-slash. Earnings over 38,000, a mark of 152. Owned by Kenneth Summer, Sheffield, Ohio. Trained by William Robinson and driven by Greg Grismore. Three is Corey's on Crombie. Owned by L and L Devisser Limited Liability Corporation, James Jones and Jerry McHila, all of Michigan, has earned over 214,000 career. Has a mark of 149 and four. Trained by Joseph Seekman and driven by Dale Heitman. Number four is Dr. Drew. Owned by Adam Victor of New York City, New York. A mark of 153 and one has earned over 29,000, actually exactly 29,000. Trained by Noel Daly, driven by Jim Pantliano. Five is top flight. And completing the first division field of the 14th Miller Lite Cleveland Classic. On by Dan Altmeyer, Jack Pyatt II, Richard Kelson and David Wills. Carries a best 151 and two, earned over $232,000 to date. Trained by Dan Altmeyer and driven by Mike Wilder. Number six is Tarpaulin Hanover. There you have the starting field for your ninth race, first division. This race, the Miller Lake Cleveland Classic, Press Lash, Pius Sedlin, Pius a Wall of Famer here at Northfield Park. Great to have you here now. You've raced a lot of great horses over the years, both here at Northfield and across the country. Where does this one rate so far? I'd say number two. Behind? Dream of Glory. Dream of Glory, of course, the trotters are the best pace you've had. Yeah. Does it make it special when it's one that's a homebred? Oh, yeah. It sure does. It makes a big difference. Well, we do wish you the best of luck here. We appreciate you taking a, a quick minute. And we should point out, uh, Pius feels it's a little bit bad luck to talk about the race beforehand, so I promised I'd make it short, but we wish him the best of luck tonight. Thanks for taking Thank a minute, you. Pius. Thank you. Here they come. They're off in pacing. Corey's on Crombie charges out for the lead as a neck on top. Press slash moves right up on the inside and out takes on over. In around the turn they go, press slash a half a length and out right back on the outside. Corey's on Crumby, they swing into the back lane. Make a success is their third. Dr. Drew is setting for top flight is fifth, followed by Tarpaulin Hanover. They hustle down to the quarter mile mark of the race and up on top. In 26 and four, Corey's on Crumby and Greg Grismore, they head onto the far turn. Press slash is second a length and a half, make a success is third. Dr. Drew to the outside, fourth, as they come wheeling into the lane. Setting in that fifth position, and coming out now is top flight, trailing as they approach the half, Tarpaul and Hanover. They're here at the halfway point of the race. Corey's on, Crombie, and now roaring, here comes Dr. Drew. Also moving up outside top flight, the half in 55 and one. In around the turn they go in her payoff half mile, in on the rail, Corey's on, Crombie, draws back out a half. Dr. Drew on the outside, and on the rail, press slash third. All on the outside, top flight is sitting fourth. Mega success fifth with Tarpaul and Hanover. They're midway down the backside, approaching three quarters. They're battling for the lead. Corey's on Crombie on the outside. Here's Dr. Drew, and the doctor's got a neck on top. Three quarters, 122 and four. Around the turn, they're homeward bound. Dr. Drew off the rail. Corey's on Crombie still on the inside. Make a success on the rail between horses. Press slash now coming three wide. Tarpaulin Hanover. 
in the lane they come in the first division of the classic and bringing them down it's dr drew and dale heitman out there a length and a half it's dr drew outside turbo the head over dr drew in 151 and two The race result is official. Back to the winner's circle. Number four, Dr. Drew, facing that mile in 151 and two. The son of Jenna's Beach Boy, out of Freedom Aloft by Nihilator. On by Ellen L. DeVisser, James Jones, and Jerry McHile, all of Michigan, trained by Joseph Siegman, driven tonight by Dale Heitmoon. Trackside making the trophy presentation to the first division winner of tonight's Miller Lite Cleveland Classic. On behalf of Tremonti Distributing, we have Mr. Jack Tremonti, Jr., accompanied by his mother, Mrs. Tremonti. Tremonti Distributing, the Miller Distributors for our area. Four six exactly eleven dollars forty cents. Trifecta four six two forty two dollars forty cents. And I'm joined by Dale Heitman, who just steered Dr. Drew to a most impressive win in the opening division of the Miller Lite Cleveland Classic. Dale, you really had to do it the hard way first over, and this horse just went a huge mile, 151 and two on a half mile track. Yeah, well, I uh, expected the early speed out of the horses on the inside, and figured that I would be first up, and uh, just hoped that we could wear them down, and we did. Were you worried at all, you know, having to go so fast through that third quarter on the outside 27 and change that you might come up, that, uh, up empty in the lane? Uh, I felt when I was going to the half, I had a strong horse. Then down the backside, I, I horse got his head in front and kind of swelled up. And when he turned for home, he really dug in. Now, Dale, this is the horse you came here to drive, that you drive regularly. But a pretty nice consolation prize is you picked up a catch drive on Junior Min in the uh, 12th race, second division of the Classic. Got to like your chances in there as well. Absolutely. And you said, if I could call in Mr. James Jones, the owner of, uh, co-owner of uh, Dr. Drew, Mr. Jones, he told me to ask you this question. I guess this horse is eligible to the Little Brown Jug next month, uh, right? But we're going to see him in Ohio again next month at the Jug. Yeah, and we're going to the uh, Scioto to, to the preview. All right, so he's going to have a little tour of Ohio. Uh, yeah, we love it. Nice day. Miller Lite Cleveland Classic to the Jug, preview to the Jug, and uh, best of luck to you and your connection, sir. Thank you very much. 